troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night, experiencing feelings of dread near Fifth Third Field. Well, the Mudhens didn't waste another minute. Instead, they picked up the phone and they called the professionals. Yes, they called the Ghostbusters on call tonight at Fifth Third Field for Ghostbusters Night. Also, it's Ghostbusters Night in this T-Sports report. Hens taking on Gozer in the form of the Charlotte Knights. Fourth inning, Hens rocking the Ghostbusters uniforms down a run. Who are you going to call? How about Mike Hassman? He handles this kind of thing all the time. Solo homer, 258 for him. That ties him with Ali Carnegie for most in IL history. That evens the score at one. It would stay tied until the sixth. That's when the Knights made the biggest mistake since Walter Peck arrested the Ghostbusters in the first movie. It scored a fielder's choice and an error. Two run score, Hens win 3-2. Well, that wasn't such a chore, now was it? Tiger fans, even after all the pitching issues and mass hysteria, the Flowers are still standing. No need to panic. You're still in first in the Central Division. Tigers in action as we speak, taking on Seattle. Right now, Detroit up 2-0 in the fourth. More baseball. Rockies in Cleveland for the start of a three-game series with the Tribe. Indians trying to avoid a fifth straight loss. This is how you do it. Bottom five is Dribble Cabrera. Nice shooting, Tex. A two-run homer his fourth of the season. It was a long night for the Rockies, struck out 12 times by Corey Kluber. Rockies manager Walt Weiss, so irate, he can't take it anymore. He gets himself ejected. Guy needs some pink slime. That would calm him down, wake up feeling like a million bucks. Indians win 5-2. And that's the Ghostbusters edition of the T-Sports Report. I'm Mike Lissette.